Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and more. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. It's one of those videos. We have to talk about some of the characters from The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And this time, it's not Portia related, kind of, sort of. We'll get to that. But let's talk about one of the newest friendos of the franchise in this specific city, LaToya Forever. She's back in the news. They have not started filming the new season of Real Housewives of Atlanta just yet, but we hear they're supposed to start this month. Last time we spoke about these ladies, contracts had not been signed yet. And sometimes this doesn't happen up until the last minute. But we will be watching. And once we find out, I will definitely let you know. But Latoya Forever, as you guys know here on YouTube, you've, you've gotten familiar with her. That's part of the reason why the producers decided to bring her on the show. She had a huge community. But a lot of people did not gravitate towards Latoya, including the other housewives, specifically Drew. Well, they gravitated to her in other ways, allegedly. Okay. But let's focus. <laughs> well, she's back in the news this week. As you may recall, there was a lot of ups and downs with her soon-to-be ex-husband. I believe they're divorced already. And that sort of simmered. But you also know she has this new boyfriend that also caused a lot of controversy with his with allegations of him being... Okay, you, you already know the tea. If you don't, check out the previous videos that we, we spoke about in regards to Vaughn. But... The relationship, as you know, they launched their own YouTube together. We we saw this sort of as a ploy of Latoya trying to become a housewife by creating a new, quote, family with Vaughn. But it seems as if that didn't necessarily work for her to be on the show as a full-time housewife, because based on what we're hearing, if she does come back, she will be coming back as, as a friend of. But that's not the news. The news is Vaughn decided to post on his Instagram story, sort of like a cryptic goodbye to his love. Let me read it to you. <laughs> Vaughn wrote this on his, his now deleted Instagram story. He deleted this before the 24 hours because we know those stay around for 24 hours. He deleted this, but this is what he said, tagging Latoya forever, saying this, as much as I cared for this relationship to work, sometimes the universe has its own way of shifting people in ways we don't understand. As a man, I can humbly say this was the first time I ever gave a relationship my all. I was 100% always honest and pure, but no matter how much happiness I gave, some insecurities only self can manage. I wish you nothing but love, peace, and happiness, LaToya forever. As I said to you before, Vaughn deleted this Instagram story, but it wasn't before the internet sent it to me. <laughs> and I appreciate you guys slipping in my DMs and letting me know about this story. A lot of people are seeing this sort of Instagram story is attention seeking, attention seeking on Vaughn's part, or it could also be Latoya trying to get our attention for this new season and getting her some attention on the show. If you look at their Instagrams, they're both still following each other because you know that's the first thing people look for. Do they unfollow each other? Is this relationship over? We really haven't seen them together. I know her new Instagram story showed a video of them cooking together. That is a part of her, her YouTube. It seems as if she's trying to build up her community on YouTube again. It seems as if because of the show, it sort of dwindled. This is what I'm hearing. She still has over 1 million, 1.5. I think almost 1.5 million subscribers on YouTube, which is huge, it's huge. And that, you know, we should give her credit for building such a huge community. But I've heard that that community has been dwindling because of her lack of interest in that particular YouTube channel. She's really been trying to build up the YouTube channel that she has with Vaughn. Look, we all said this in regards to this relationship, be it fake or real, it seemed very forced. It seemed very rushed. No one necessarily believed it. I don't know if I still believe it. I don't care if people think that Vaughn could allegedly be gay, bisexual, whatever it may be. There are plenty of heterosexual women that are in relationships with men that are bisexual or gay and they make it work because it works for them. I have no problem with that. The issue here is if they're just doing this for a storyline, if they're just doing this for attention. And I think a lot of people felt as if Latoya's antics during the season was for attention. It wasn't real. It was a little too forced. 
who knows? But it will be interesting to see if we do see LaToya and Vaughn on the next season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But speaking of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, as you know, a lot of things have been happening off the set and people are hoping that we will see it in the new season of Atlanta on Portia Williams and her new fiance, Simon Gobadi. These two have been traveling. I saw an Instagram story of the Portia in a private jet. I'm assuming this is Simon's private jet with Miss Diane. And I know you guys are gonna have all kinds of jokes. Leave Miss Diane alone. I love Miss Diane. <laughs> They're enjoying this moment. And as they should, they should. They should enjoy this moment. I would love to. Be I mean, I guess I could be in a private plane. I've heard you could charter a private plane for cheap. But anyways, this is his private plane. And they're off, you know, they were vacationing with each other. They're really playing this up for us. But a lot of people have been wondering, what about Fallon Gobadia? People have been waiting to hear from Fallon Gobadia. Well, it looks as if we might be hearing from Fallon Gobadia very, very soon. Shout out to my boy over at Up and Adam, and I'll be posting links so you guys can subscribe to his channel and stay locked for a possible interview. Well, there were hints to a possible interview, and you guys were slipping in my DMs like, oh my gosh, is, is Fallon going to finally speak? Is Fallon going to finally speak? Because it seems as if she got dressed up for an interview. It seems as if that our boy Adam was in Atlanta. All the signs are there. No confirmation, because as you know, sometimes these, these, celebrities do interviews and then they change their minds. But it seems as if Fallon is ready to talk. And look, I know the world is ready to listen. This is my Taurus sister. Like I'm trying to have Fallon's back. I don't care what anyone says about her allegedly cheating on Simon. Well, I shouldn't say, well, I guess allegedly because Simon claimed that she, she had cheated on him in his IG live after the announcement of their divorce. But did Simon cheat on her? I mean, there are allegations. Simon even, did anyone get that $75,000 to prove that Simon cheated with the receipts? We had receipts with Fem, Fem Tower. Does it, is he going to take those receipts? Anyways, back to this. So it looks as if Fallon might be ready to speak, but will she be willing to give us what we want to hear? Keywords, what we want to hear. Or will she just give us her truth? At the end of the day, I will be listening. I will be supporting my boy up in Adam. I'm excited that he got this exclusive. This is a big deal. Anyone that is an interviewer, a journalist, a YouTuber, whatever you want to call yourself, this is a big deal. This is a huge story, no matter what anyone wants to say. Everyone wants to see this Portia Williams, Simon Gobadia, Fallon Gobadia situation to play out on The Real Housewives of Atlanta next season. And it will be interesting to see what Fallon has to say. These are the questions I want answered from this Fallon interview, if this is happening. I think it's happening, y'all. Look, there, are, there have been bread com, bread, bread, bread crumbs about this. Can I point, can I point? Like, I don't wanna give too much tea. <laughs> <laughs> there have been breadcrumbs. Not only did we see things on social media about Adam being in Atlanta, about her looking dressed up and seated for an interview. I mean, Adam did say on live, I can say this because he said this on live, that he did have an interview that he didn't want to mention just yet. Okay, I had to say it. I had to say it. But shout out to my boy up at Adam. This is a huge deal. As I said before, I will be posting his YouTube channel in the description of this video. Go follow him. Go support him. We will be breaking down this interview. And maybe I can get an interview from Adam so we can ask him some questions. Adam, wink, wink. All right. But here are some of the things that I need answered in this interview. Did she cheat on Simon Gobadia? When and if? Not sure if she's going to be able to talk. That's the thing. We we hear that there's alleged a gag order in her prenup. That she, that's part of the reason why we haven't heard her speak. But if she did this interview, but maybe she's able to speak, I want to know, did she cheat on Simon Gobadia? Did she suspect that Portia was looking at her husband in a certain kind of way? Was she friends with Portia? And when I say friends, I understand, look, the way that the reality show works, that he has to be introduced, but did they become friends as a part of the show? They seem very friendly. <laughs> I want to know more. There's so many questions, and I want you guys in the comments to let me know what questions you want answered from this Fallon Gobadia interview. 
Look, I'll be looking out for it. Turn those notifications on. We will be breaking it down and we will be going live as always. But let me know your thoughts on this whole Latoya and Bond breakup and possible Fallon Gobadia interview. Looking forward to it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out when there's breaking news, when we go live, or when we upload.